11.31 a.m. at London 3 Miami Dolphins players Kenny Stills, Julius Thomas and Michael Thomas knelt during the National Anthem Sunday before their game against the New Orleans Saints in Wembley Stadium. The Saints, meanwhile, knelt together as a team before the anthem then stood together during the anthem a planned show of unity after 10 players sat on the bench last week for the first time. Many players and coaches had their arms interlocked or their hands on shoulders. Dolphins players kneel during the national anthem before their game against Saints at Wembley Stadium. Henry Brown Jetty images a week ago, demonstrations were organized across the NFL in response to President Donald Trump's criticism of players who kneel during the national anthem. This is the second straight week Stills and Julius Thomas knelt in protest during the anthem. Michael Thomas knelt for the first time Sunday. Drew Brees announced the Saints' plans earlier this week after team leaders got together and decided it would be a way to show respect to all. After President Donald Trump criticized NFL players who lodge pre-game protests, here's what each team did during the national anthem in Week 4. How the NFL and its team owners, famous for ironclad control, grappled with losing it after an attack by President Trump and a rise of player protests during the national anthem. Breeze has been steadfast in his belief that players should stand during the national anthem. However, Breeze also disagreed with Trump's comments last week and said, I don't blame the guys for feeling like they needed to do something as a reaction. Unfortunately I think he put all athletes, all black athletes, minority athletes, he put them in a corner and forced them to take action. Saints coach Sean Payton said there was no influence from Saints ownership on the player's decision. Safety Kenny Backrow, one of the players who sat last Sunday, said he was good with the plan the team came up with. I think it's a good combination of showing unity and also paying tribute to the actual reason why everybody's taking a knee. It has nothing to do with disrespecting the flag, disrespecting the military, Vacaro said.